Hello everyone. So I'm just going to get it started real quick here. Interesting story. We were at our friend's house Sunday night and on our way home, um, I told my wife, I said, I thought I just saw like something brown fall out of the sky. I think like a bat. I think we just hit a bat in our van while we were driving. When we got home, we forgot all about it. And the next morning, my oldest son was like, dad, you hit a bat. So sure enough, there he was stuck in the grill of our van. So anyway, on today's video, we are going to move some chickens, cause you know, why not? And we got one chicken with a secret surprise to tell you guys about, and then also what we're doing around the house. So let's get started. First thing, we need to go get the smaller fence, put it inside the bigger fence, drop some food in, lead them in, so we can steal their bigger fence to move them. And I really want to relocate this Energizer into the garage, because it's just been sitting here for days, and we don't want to overcharge and kill the battery. Diverting from our current project just for a second, we had a chicken that decided, you know, it's almost fall. I mean, it is practically fall. It's cold outside. Let's hatch some babies because that's the best time to have babies, right? When it's freezing out and it's really hard to take care of. Yeah, so she had seven hatch, two. Well, one fully didn't hatch. The other one was starting to hatch, and we think maybe it died in the hatching process. Um, of the seven that hatched, we did lose one, and so there are six remaining. But yeah, she uh, is raising her little family in here. They're probably not a single one of them are actually her eggs. We got she she had a failed batch, so she did sit on a batch for a while, and. Um, none of them hatched so we went and picked out all the eggs that we liked i believe they were all the bigger ones and she's a silky chicken so we got all the bigger eggs and hatched them but they're definitely a mix we got three roosters three different breeds of rooster out there well two of them are silkies but they look completely different but three different roosters out there and i think we got a mix of chickens out of that hey before we walk all the way back and then have to walk all the way back out here again why don't you guys grab one cup of food and we'll just set it to the side until we're ready for it. All right, can you guys round this up? Yes, sir. Do you know how to unta unattach the, uh, I guess I can do it. The, the coiled electric line over there. The eggs are getting dirty, so we are moving everybody to fresh grass. They've torn, this was our garden. This was our summer garden and spring garden. Tried to do a fall garden, but it didn't turn out. So gonna get everybody moved over to fresh grass so that we can keep the eggs a little clean. So you can see some of the remnants of our rows here, the mound, the mound, the mound, the coop is on that mound. And this area we had let overgrow. Robbie came out and uh, whacked it all down though.
scrambling mom's eggs before she cooks them. All right, got the new patch mostly set up. Have this side down so we can get the coops over on into it, but they've got not the pool, but up around this tree and down back along that way. Problem. Oh, I should tie these up. Done. One's coming your way. Where? We've never given our dogs any time with the birds, so I'm afraid they would just try to eat them if they ever had a chance. Friends, not food. Friends, not food. I wouldn't get any closer. She does not look. <laughs> yeah. We got a chicken, Dad. I like it over here. <laughs> You might think it's impossible to make it snow, but that's not. It impossible. is. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> it's snowing allergies right out of the sky. Close up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wait, wait, I got some more. <laughs> Number one tactical move, the silent retreat. They're up building more ammo. We're getting out of here. Sorry, the house is such a mess right now, guys. We are in the process of completely remodeling the whole thing. One of the things that we're doing if you look at this room, I haven't touched yet, and it's packed full of our stuff. Again, remodeling, got a couple rooms that are emptied out and they're all kind of sharing the same space. If you look at this room, you can see instead of solid sheets of drywall, they have strips on the walls every few feet, and the windows are covered in like a brown, uh, it's not really wood, it's like a fake wood. And then moving on to the hallway, you can see kind of the first transition piece where I pulled the strips off, adding some mud to the walls. And then we look at the girls' room, and this, I've already gone a little bit farther and um, getting pretty close to ready for primer and paint. We've got the window uh, torn out. It's now a seamless transition of drywall and a solid pine board on the bottom. So that fake veneer wood they had covering that window before. And then if you jump to the final room, you can see this room right here is just what the whole house is kind of going to look like. I mean, we're going to have the tan walls white trim uh, on the top and the white trim on the floor with uh, trimless 
window transitions here, which we just think looks gorgeous. It's a lot better quality than the wood, so if you leave the window open, it gets rained on. That fake wood just absorbs the water, swells up. But this stuff, it won't happen with though. We're really happy with the way it's turning out. And uh, you know, we have lots of ideas in mind. The, the, you'll notice there's no doors on either one of the closets. The boys wanted, uh, instead of an extra closet space, a walk-in closet, they wanted a workout room. And the girls' cl closet, they wanted a chill place, a hangout room, some place to just chill and play games or whatever. And they've even gonna have a color-changing party light in there. So lots of ideas for the whole house. Can't wait to show you guys when it's finished. And who knows, I might even take you along and give you some tutorials along the way of how I'm doing some of these things to make it look like this and transition it from a traditional manufactured home look into a more modern updated home look. So.